Google has released Gemma 2, their latest large language models in the Gemma series. So there are two models, 9 billion and 27 billion parameter models. And the exciting thing is that the Gemma 2 27 billion parameter model shows performance close to Llama 370 billion parameters. So this is an exciting development and these models are lightweight, state of the art open models. You can use it for commercial purpose. Okay. And with the Gemma 2 27 billion parameter model, uh, it delivers performance uh, which is my, uh, close to say Llama 370 billion parameter model. And this can be run on an NVIDIA A100 ATGP uh, Tensor Core GPU or an H100 Tensor Core GPU. So this becomes, uh, you know, budget friendly, uh, reducing costs while maintaining high performance. And uh, it also has blazing fast inference across various hardwares. It is available in full precision in Google AI Studio. Uh, you can run the quantized version on your CPU. You can run it on your home computer with an NVIDIA RTX or Jeep or RTX using Hugging Face Transformers. So the model has been released on Hugging Face Transformers as well. Okay. Here is a quick look at the performance over here when compared to Llama 3. Um, this, if you look at over here, the 27 billion parameter model on these various, uh, you know, uh, general reasoning. Uh, if you look at the performance is close. Right, the 27 billion parameter uh, Gemma 2 versus Llama 3 370 billion parameter models, uh, the performance is quite close over here. Right, so it is not exactly beating Llama 370 billion parameters, but it is close. Okay, and uh, if you look at the technical report, uh, what they say is that when they did an evaluation of this particular model on LMSYS Arena, LMSYS chatbot Arena. Uh, in a, what do you call uh, blind uh, fashion, blind side by side evaluations by human raters on this particular chatbot arena, they didn't disclose that this was really a Gemma 27 billion parameter model. They had a different name for that. And when they evaluated it, what they are saying is that this model uh, outperforms, say, Llama 370 billion instruct and even Nematron for uh, 340 billion instruct models. Okay. Uh, so that is what they say over here. Uh, this is that LM uh, is Arena chatbot Arena. Uh, your LO ratings of uh, various models. So if you look at it, uh, the models above these are like your Gemini Advanced, Claude three point five, GPT four, and if you look below this uh, Gemma two, um, you know, instruction to twenty seven billion parameter model, you have models like uh, Llama three somewhere over here right uh, llama 3 uh, 70 billion instruct okay so this is a really powerful model now if you look over here they also talk about the architecture of these models and what is how is it different from the earlier gemma models okay so that is what they talk about over here so one key difference over here is that uh, you know uh, they are using knowledge distillation in pre-training so they use a large model as a teacher and they learn the smaller models by distilling from the probability given by the teacher of each token X given its context. So they are using a knowledge distillation in the pre-training phase over here, right? Uh, the rest, what the differences are, they say over here, the model architecture, if you look at it, it is a uh, transformer uh, based architecture and it is a decoder only architecture. Okay, so what they are saying is that Gemma models are based on a decoder only transformer architecture and uh, it has 8192 tokens as context. It makes use of rotary position embeddings. It makes use of approximated JLU for nonlinearity. Uh, so few elements differ from Gemma 1 and Gemma 2 including using deeper networks. Okay, the key differences are this. So they're making use of local sliding window and gl global attention and they alternate between them in every other layer. Okay. Uh, the sliding window size of local attention layers is 4096 tokens. Span of the global attention layers is 8192 tokens. They do logit soft capping. Okay. Um, so there is a formula over here for that. They do that. Um, that is what they're saying over here. Um, then they are saying, uh, you know, they use a post norm and pre norm with RMS norm to normalize uh, input 
and output of each transformer sublayer, they make use of grouped query attention. Okay. Um, so for details, we need to compare this with the Gemma one architecture. I'm not going into it over here, but this is what they have described over here. And Gemma 2, 27 billion parameter is trained on close to 13 million tokens. Whereas Llama 3 has been trained close to 15 uh, trillion tokens. Okay. And the 9 billion parameter model on 8 trillion tokens. And there is a 2.6 billion parameter on 2 trillion tokens. So this is how much data which was used for training uh, Gemma 2 models. And here they talk about the compute infrastructure for training this. Uh, so this is available in table 3. Uh, so for the 27 billion parameter model TPU uh, V5, this, this is the hard, hard, uh, hardware, right? Total 6,000 uh, chips and this is the data and the model. So that's what uh, the shards of the data and the model, okay? So this is the training infrastructure which they are talking about. And if you go down over here, they discuss the performance on various uh, and in the basically in pre-training, they did knowledge distillation and in the post training, they make use of supervised fine tuning and reinforcement learning from human feedback. They also do model merging. So they merge models from experiments run with different parameters. So first they do supervised fine tuning and on the supervised fine tuning model, they do uh, reinforcement learning with human feedback. Okay. So that is what they say over here. And then they merge models, which have been uh, developed with uh, different hyperparameters from experiments. So in this way, they are able to get uh, better models. So that is what they are saying over here. I will not go into details of other performance and other things. You can check it out for yourself. So here is a comparison between say Llama 370 billion and Gemma 2, uh, 27 billion on various benchmarks. So if you look at the numbers, they are quite close for a model, which is actually, you know, uh, say roughly 2.5 times uh, smaller than Llama 370 billion parameters. So the Gemma 2, 27 billion parameters roughly 2.5x smaller and trained on almost two thirds less data. And that's the kind of performance you are seeing over here from this model. Okay. If you look at this, the Quen 1.5, 32 billion more parameter model is also equally good in terms of performance in these benchmarks. Okay. When compared to a Llama 370 billion. So these models are already available for you. Um, there, there is this, uh, you know, cookbook, Gemma cookbook, where you have various, uh, you know, uh, notebooks. You can try out these notebooks for yourself. Maybe I will do a future video on how to do rag with say, uh, Gemma 2, I want to try out this model on certain tasks and to see how it performs. And maybe then um, I can come with more details of how this model performs in the real world. Okay, for various tasks. But this is an interesting model. I am actually interested more in the 27 billion parameter model if it gives performance close to a Llama 3 on certain tasks and you can deploy it on, um, you know, uh, much smaller hardware, basically yeah, yeah, AAT on a single chip then it gives a lot of advantages in terms of cost and efficiency. Okay. So here there are other projects which have been built with Gemma. So you can um, check out that as well. Um, these models can be downloaded uh, from the weights can be downloaded from Kaggle, from Hugging Face models, and even with the Vertex AI model uh, garden. Um, so it can, uh, it will be present there as well. Uh, probably you can read through this paper for better understanding. I will share all these uh, links, relevant links in the description of the video. So this is an exciting development. A more smaller, powerful models are required uh, any day when compared to bigger models. And if these models give uh, good performance when compared to bigger models, you save a lot, a lot on cost as well. Okay, cost and efficiency. You have that as well. So we need more smaller models. I hope this video was useful. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video.